So today we're going to cut open the 7.2 amp sealed lead acid batteries so we can pull the insides out because um, we're going to put some lithium ion batteries in there um, and create a smart battery. Tried to open this a number of ways, heat gun, soaking it in hot water. These things are not designed to, to come apart so you actually have to cut it open using um, what are these called? A handyman tool. Anyway, uh, be real careful too because it's easy to go off track. Okay, so you can see I did go a little bit off track. It's not too bad though, I'm not that worried about it. Then we want a flathead screwdriver. Let's see if we can pry it apart. Right, so as you can see, that is quite tricky. Um, these cells are quite bad too. Remember that these are lead, so you need to still put them in the battery recycling. So now all we need to do is just remove all of these cells and then what I'm going to do is cut out the inside and just clean it up with a file and then we'll have a nice container that we can put our lithium batteries into. So now I'm in the process of cutting out these inner fins or whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm just using a jigsaw. Of course it doesn't go all the way down but what you want to do is just go around the edge and cut them like that and then what I found is you just get some pliers and flip them back and forth and you can actually break the rest of it out. So I thought I'd show you how I'm getting the bottoms out because the jigsaw only gets to about halfway down. So what you do is you just get a large set of pliers go in there, twist it back and forth like that and then just turn it around on an angle and it twists out like that and you do it for all of them and then we're going to file it and uh, clean it all up and see what it looks like. So I've finished cleaning up the case and I just put some batteries in there to show you how they're going to fit in there. So it's a 3S7P configuration and you can see we've still got enough room at the end here for the BMS. Um, I've just filed around the edges to take off all the loose bits. And I also popped off this plastic cap. Um, that's pretty easy to do. Uh, once you get the top off, you just clean it up and just use a screwdriver to push the lid off. And there's these little rubber seals too. Um, they might come in handy maybe as protectors or something, not really. Um, so now we've got our box ready. So the next stage is solder the pack all together and uh, add the BMS and then put it all together. And I'll probably put a couple of screws in each end with something to mount them to so I can easily take the lid on and off when I want to.